A little while back, a security check firm called Checkpoint uncovered a vulnerability on phones using Qualcomm chips, Quadroot. So why Quadroot? Well, it's actually four flaws or vulnerabilities on phones with Qualcomm hardware inside. This was found in code that handles graphics and controls communications on phones, like I said, with Qualcomm chips. These exploits could potentially allow a hacker to take control of the device, gain access to your data, and additionally, Checkpoint claimed uh, claims that 900 million phones are infected. Seems serious, right? Yeah, a lot of people were asking me about it and I thought I'd shoot a video because, you know, yeah, I'm covering the Note 7, but then I thought I'll take a couple of hours and shoot this video to clear things up. So, hey guys, Ash here from C4D Tech and I need to roll my intro somewhere. And I guess this is as good a place to roll it as any, so. So here are the facts. The Quadroot exploits were discovered way back in April and were reported to Qualcomm and Google. Three out of four exploits were fixed with Google's August security patch, and the other one will be fixed with the September security patch. Additionally, Qualcomm's also working with some manufacturers to directly address the issues. So there's a chance that you might be protected already, but how do you confirm that? Well, Checkpoint has an app that scans your phone and lets you know if you are vulnerable or not. This app can be directly downloaded from the Play Store and I'll leave a link to it in the description, check it out. If you aren't using Qualcomm's hardware, you should be good. Like my Note 7 here is clean, but my Snapdragon variant of the S7 Edge isn't. So what if you notice that you're vulnerable? Like I said, 900 million phones, so odds are a lot of our phones might be vulnerable to the exploit. So what next? Well, we'll need to wait for the manufacturer to push out Google's security patch. And we've already seen some brands saying that's exactly what they don't wanna do. And if you have a less expensive phone, then the odds of getting the fixes are not good. But you don't have to panic, not yet. Because number one, odds of getting affected by apps from the Play Store are very low. Google's known about these exploits, like I said, since April. So uh, any chances of Google letting apps using this exploit remain on the Play, Play Store are zero to non-existent. I mean, close to non-existent if that makes it better. So if you are someone who only downloads apps from the Play Store, you should be good. Don't really worry about it. But okay, let's say for some reason you, you, you download and install APK files. That's generally not recommended, but sometimes it is required. So me, for example, me personally, when I import a Xiaomi phone and it comes from China, so it's got the Chinese firmware and there's no Google Play Store preloaded, then I need to side load it and I need the Google installer APK. That said, for a while now, even for apps installed uh, from unknown sources, Google verifies them. So if you don't see a pop-up stating malicious app, do not install or something like that, you should be good. But it's always good to institute some common sense. An APK from say XDA developers or MIUI forums should mostly be okay. But an APK from a shady website, not so much. So use your common sense and stay safe. Additionally, you can also torment your favorite brand by hitting, hitting them up on social media, asking them to do their job, which is to provide us with security patches. I mean, brands sometimes forget that their work isn't done the moment they make you buy a phone from them. They still need to actually support it. So reminding them of that probably won't work, but doesn't hurt to try. Anyway guys, like I said, I was getting quite a few questions about this, so I thought I'd shoot a video and explain uh, what quad root is and what you need to do. So, uh, hope this clears things up. If you found this video useful, if you wanna see me shoot more videos like this, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, well, you know what to do. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech. Signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.